Here's my method really early in the raid for getting the 102 done for instant map repair. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome to another Battle Pirates video. As I go through this method, it does generally rely on a high evade, high penetrative survival tank. U2 and X1 are where you see the big benefits for that. The other four ships don't really matter too much to their upgrade level, although of course, better is higher. In this case, X1 has almost no benefit for driving, U3 is where you really want to stick out for your back four, your flag, as high as possible. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to try and get this target done in about five minutes, and we're going to have to go pretty efficiently for that. The general technique in this target is to use different ships, such as the ammo carriers, to chain off of and kill things for no damage. You can chain up to six or seven times depending on your upgrade level or maybe some other specials. So I chained off, killed this thing, killed that thing, and it did fire a shot at me, but I was just trying to get this done quickly. With a very high evade flagship, those missile turrets actually don't do too much damage at all, and you can probably just ignore them and tank right into them. I will actually use two or three of them in this target to chain off of. This ammo carrier you want to chain off right about here. If you hit it at the right spot, you'll chain most everything onto this Kodiak and just about kill it. Next up, I'm going to move forward and get this ammo carrier triggered and run away, this heavy cruiser rather. The heavy cruisers you can be, especially when you have one ship at X1 and have that combat speed debuff, you can use those and you can kill them really, really easily. Or if you still have the old Hyper 30 build, you can kill them pretty easily. Got a few of those, let's go ahead and move off onto the missile turret right here. You could spend a bunch of time learning how to chain and take that one down, but you take so little damage, it's not really worth it, at least in my view. Next up is this ammo carrier, you can chain one, two heavy cruiser, although you don't really need to, and you could just trigger the heavy cruiser and run, it doesn't matter too much. The ammo carrier generator there might go down, it might not. It doesn't really matter, it served its purpose at this point. In most targets last raid, you wanted to avoid killing that. In most of them this raid, it doesn't matter too much. All right, next spot is the missile turret. You kill this one, you'll kill several things in the target. Even though you take some volleys from that, you kill a corrosive turret, another corrosive turret, a missile turret, and a few ships if you get lucky as well. I should mention, if you see slightly different pathing or your ships aren't chaining quite as far, that is probably an upgrade level problem. U3 does have 10 additional chaining range. Against this gate, make sure you stay stopped and stay far away from these Kodiaks, otherwise you'll trigger all 5 or 6 of them and it will hurt. Without that, you can actually chain off onto a lot of this target. Sometimes those ammo carriers come in and take away one chain count from you, but it doesn't really matter too much. For example, I would love to have killed this last ship, it didn't quite get there, that's okay. Missile turret down onto corrosive turret, you can outrange that anyway, doesn't matter. Going to move forward, kill the ammo carrier and the Kodiak, try and stay in range of that for as long as possible, run away as soon as the heavy cruisers are about to hit you, because they should die for, like I said, no damage from these ships. If you do this target remotely well, you'll take zero corrosive damage. Now, I should mention, as I have in a few build videos, that the flagship is a high evade ship. This is because all these different missiles have king killer, which means they target the ship with the highest health which is a little bit annoying, but it does work out pretty nicely actually uh, in this target if you build it high evade. If you don't, you're a little bit out of luck. Now, this next ammo carrier, I have not been successfully able to uh, kill this one without triggering all these little heavy cruisers or taking missile damage or both. Looks like there's just missile damage here. I can chain off onto this one and a bunch of these ships here. As many Kodiaks as I can kill is great. Now that that's down, let's kill the missile turret. It doesn't always cooperate very well. I'd rather it chain one, two, three, four. It doesn't, it gets the gate and the ammo carrier instead. That's fine. All three or four of these back Kodiaks died, which is pretty nice. So make sure you take the missile damage and approach um, from an angle that allows you to kill that without triggering anything. That will save you a ton of damage in this target. A little bit closer here for this corrosive turret. Make sure you stop, hit that down button early and often and continue sneaking forward. Another heavy cruiser, get close to this one, turn around and run. You can actually kill that one stop that appears, so that's really nice. And a few more things in this target left and we're just about done. Corrosive turret is fine, just stop. Uh, if you mess up, stay moving, get out of range as quickly as possible. I might actually take more corrosive damage than penetrative damage in this target, which is really weird and not what usually happens. You don't have to kill any all the ammo carriers or the ammo carrier buildings for the target to end. 
So just try and kill any that are in your way. You can ignore them, pretend they don't exist. It doesn't matter. Go ahead, shoot at that heavy cruiser. Everything should chain off and onto the Kodiak, and that's the target done for just about five minute recording time exactly. With that done, let's go ahead and check the damage, the battle report, and the build. This target is really, really nice to do, especially once you figure it out or do things like watch this video. Most damage was actually corrosive from that slight mess up at the end, which of course I'm leaving in the video, and very, very, very little penetrative damage taken. This evaded number counts evaded and countermeasured. Uh, it's not the best number out there, but it's the metric that we have. This should be very low repair. Total damage is 1 minute and 39 seconds with a mess up. You can get this even lower if you'd like, although I have had repairs about 6 minutes. I'm not using a crew, no rocket, and this is the build shown. Flagship is X1, high evade tank, lots of missile armor. The others are U3, one's up to X1, and I've got 6 MDS-3 total, which are boosted by countermeasure specials on the fleet. That's a pretty good number that I'm happy with. You might be able to get away with fewer for this target. But hey, that's the build, that's the damage, that's the path. Go ahead, give this a try, and let me know what damage you get. In the meantime, I'll be figuring out and uploading the 103 and 900 videos as well, so go ahead and find those on my channel. With that said, thank you to everyone who supports the channel, whose names are now on screen. And as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.